Good morning, and uh, this is a continuation of our study about who is worthy to go in the rapture. And there seems to be a lot of confusion among a lot of people as far as uh, who, if some believers are going to go in the, in the rapture and some believers are going to be left behind, and really what are the uh, requirements for going in the rapture? Let me make it real simple and clear, and then we're going to talk about the reasons that the scripture reveals it, that all true believers in the Messiah will go in the rapture. There's no, there's not any scripture that indicates that if you're truly born again of the spirit, that you will miss the rapture for whatever reason. The, the reality is either you're born again, you have the spirit and you're a child of the creator. The scripture says over in first John chapter three, verse one, beloved, now are we the sons of Yahuwah. And it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Notice it says, now are we the sons of Yahuwah. It doesn't say that we're sons once we get to heaven, but the, the moment that a person truly believes and puts his faith in the Messiah, in the Mashiach, he is born of the Spirit. Now we're waiting for the adoption to be complete the redemption of our body, which, which is the completion of the, the redemption process that Yahuwah has set in place to redeem those who have put their faith and trust in the Messiah and not rely on their self-efforts or their own good works in order to gain acceptance into the kingdom. But they will truly recognize that they're a sinner, that they need a savior. We're all sinners. We all fall short of the glory of the Father. And we all need a savior. And that's why that we need to uh, recognize that our own works uh, are as filthy rags as the scripture talks about in the sight of Yahuwah. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 says, We're his workmanship created in Yahushua HaMashiach. We're the creator's workmanship. In other words, it's what he's has done in us. The only requirement that, he, that we have in order to receive eternal life is to believe on the one that the Father sent and put your and, and stop trusting in your own, your own self-efforts or your own works in order to please him. You recognize that it's only by your faith and trust in the Messiah that pleases Yahuwah. The, the, the scripture says over in Romans chapter 10, verse 1, that the Jews, the Yahudim, uh, that Yahuwah was not, they went about to establish their own righteousness and did not submit themselves unto the righteousness of Yahuwah, because they did not seek it by faith. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6 says, without faith, it's impossible. Notice, impossible to please him. For he that comes to Yahuwah must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So it's our faith that pleases him. All through the scriptures, it teaches that faith is what pleases Yahuwah. Abraham believed Yahuwah, and that, that was accounted to him for righteousness. In the same manner, you and I who have put our faith and trust in the word of, of the scriptures, our faith is counted as for our righteousness. So once you understand that, you understand that what the requirements to be to receive salvation is to believe on the one the Father has sent and that you stop trusting in your own self-efforts or your own works. And in fact, uh, I was going to do a teaching on uh, the, the word repentance or repent. There's a lot of confusion about that word. Most people, if you would ask them, what does it mean to repent? Well, most people's answer to that question would be to stop sinning. And uh, because that's what it sounds like. It sounds like it's, it's taken on a new meaning from the original meaning of that, what that word meant back in the uh, gospel time. Uh, and during that time frame, when, 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 when John the Baptist went about talking about repent, what he was actually saying, he wasn't telling people to change your behavior, stop doing the, the bad things you're doing. He was telling them to change your mind because really well, this is what the word really means. The word means to change your mind, to, to change your attitude. Most people have the assumption that if I live a good life, if I follow the Ten Commandments, if I keep the Sabbath, if I do this and do that, then I'll gain acceptance into the kingdom of heaven. 
And that's what the, the that John the Baptist went about preaching was to to change their mind to, to 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 let them know that the that the one that the Father has sent had come, and that that they needed to recognize and put their faith not in their own self efforts or their works, but they were to look to the Messiah and to the Mashiach, and to look to Him as their only salvation. There's only one way of salvation, that is to believe on the one the Father has sent. The, that's what really what that's what the when we say repent, a lot of people misinterpret that and think that that means just change your behavior. You know, uh, I'm not saying that we should not ch change our behavior. If we're living in sin and know that, we need to stop things doing things that we know that are uh, pleasing to our heavenly Father. And someone who's truly born again has that desire to stop doing those things. But you just simply doing stop sinning, uh, thinking that that's going to uh, gain you acceptance by the Father is totally wrong in an error. It's only by our faith and trust in the Mashiach, in the Messiah, which will cause you to be born from above. We're going to continue this on our next session. So thank you for joining me this morning. And uh, until our next broadcast, Shalom.